first good news of my life um, so uh, before me and my recent ex um, started dating uh, I hung out with this girl um, oh also I'm chewing gum I don't know if that gets you some mouth sounds if that if that's good for you or if you freaking hate mouth sounds I know people are pretty divided about it so sorry if you hate them I'm trying something new not on purpose just have come on my mouth <laughs> anyway so um, there was this girl and I hung out with her like twice um, and I thought we hit it off really well and then I don't know really what happened um, um, yeah I think I was I went back and looked at the text and I think I stopped texting her which is like insane to me because I thought she was great and I thought we really hit it off but maybe it was because I saw that she was dating another guy um, and so you know I was you know kind of I feel bad I was I was also seeing my girlfriend um, or ex-girlfriend um, so we hadn't really put labels on it we really weren't we were super casual um, and we both you know were consenting adults in that that casualness um, so anyway um, that just kind of went on you know I dated my girlfriend and she did it her boyfriend fell up uh, but recently I kind of looked and it looked like maybe she was single um, and so uh, she's an actress um, and I have taken some headshots for her before because I've you know known her through something else and uh, just did it you know friends friends up and friends so uh, she recently lost some weight uh, some quarantine weight seems like everybody's either gaining weight or losing weight in quarantine or both <laughs> um, so I was like hey you know you lost a bunch of weight let's take some headshots because part of me wants to um, A. get out of my apartment and you know taking headshots is very safe thing to do because you can be outside pretty distant uh, and B because I wanted to do some fact finding <laughs> I wanted to see you know if I, if I was right if she actually was single and see if we still had some magnetism and uh, we did that tonight and uh, I can say that uh, yeah uh, she definitely is single and yeah um, I think we definitely hit it off again so uh, we're gonna go get pizza next week I think and yeah I'm gonna see if I can talk her into watching a movie with me also and then hopefully maybe make out with her so that's the good news of my life I'm cautiously optimistic um, so I don't want to you know put the cart before the horse or anything like that you know I'm still kind of feeling sad about my ex but also feeling very hopeful um you know getting getting back on the right path and and you know get spread my wings and just at the even just the idea i think what's interesting is this girl is the same girl that was the first girl i hung out with like you know interested in uh after my the the ex before this one which ended like hyper dramatically where i was just like i'm just gonna be single for like a year and uh i was just like nope don't want anything to do with women and i didn't i just was like i stayed away um it didn't help that after me and that ex broke up we stayed she moved out for a month and stayed with some friends and then came back um and we lived out the rest of the lease in this house which we had separate bedrooms and everything it was a big house um but the, the, it was a very, 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 very dramatic uh, ending. Um, not to get, I don't want to get too heavy here, I'm trying to talk about good things. Uh, but that was, this girl was the first girl that I was like, had feelings for again. And I was like, oh, I could still have feelings. I didn't think that was, I thought that part of me had died. Like, I legitimately was like, well, I'm never going to have feelings for another human again because that ended so badly. Um, Anyway, uh, so yeah, so I took some headshots of her. We had a good time. We ended up talking more than we did photographing. I think that's a good sign. Um, but of course, I'm wonderfully charismatic when I have a camera in my hands. Um, and uh, yeah, she seems pretty great. So, cross your fingers for me. Knock on wood. And uh, yeah, hope that goes pretty well. <laughs>
so that's uh, that's some exciting good news in my life. Uh, comment down below if you've had some good news this week. That's the we're 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 sneaking in those comments. We gotta get those call to actions. That's what people call them. call to actions. Like when an ad is like for more information, visit our website. That's called a call to action. If you're not familiar. Uh, not to be confused with a call to arms, which is uh, when you get a weapon and go fight a war. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment down below if something good happened this week for you. Anyway, so we're going to go get pizza next week at this pizza place. That's supposed to be really good. It's called Tasty Pizza. Um, which with a name like that, how can it not be good? But actually everyone just goes bananas over it. I've never had it. So. And she's like, shut up. Um, also, she was she was supposed to be Maria in The Sound of Music um, recently, but that production got canceled because of the, you know, the big roan. So, I was like, oh, I've never seen Sound of Music, so maybe I could be like, hey, let's get that tasty pizza and watch Sound of Music. And then I could be like, hey, I think you're great, and I think we should make out. And then if she goes for it, then on the path to a new girlfriend lady, which would be awesome. And if she doesn't go for it, I'd be like, well, I hope I didn't make our friendship awkward. <laughs> uh, I don't really know how to navigate those situations, so if you have better advice than that, drop a comment down below, because that's my game plan, is to, to see if she wants to come over and watch a movie and eat the pizza, and then I'm just going to tell her that I think she's awesome, and that I really want to make out with her, because I do. Um, and hopefully that doesn't come across as, like, creepy or... Um, can't think of the word. It's not like from a place of like um I'm trying to think this is so hard to like to communicate it but also um keep it PG because I don't want the, the YouTube folks to get mad at me. So I try to keep this PG, try not to swear. I think I'm doing pretty good. Um but it it doesn't come from a place of like physical longing like I, f I feel like there's some personality um you know personality friction that's good friction you know that's like um I feel like you know when we talk we like just get on these tangents and like we conversation thread naturally um which if you don't know what conversation threading is it's where like you sneak in some like phrases that like you know the other person like will respond to um, either because you just like know something about them or because you did your research um, so like it's a common it's not always you know a boyfriend girlfriend uh, relationship dating thing but it can also be used to, like business networking like if you know the person you want to get in contact and be closer with you know if you know they they ride horses you could be like, duh, always watching the Kentucky Derby, duh, 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 and you know, that can spark, that's a conversation thread, and you know, these are just threads you can pull, and you can kind of keep a conversation going, and it's just good, um, though, you know, the way I described it, it sounds kind of manipulative, um, but I think in good conversation, it happens naturally, like two people that are hitting it off, um, and it's not like I did, you know, research about her, I don't really know, you know, a ton about her, but she's very open, and I'm very open, so that's good. Um, and so I'm hoping I'm just not confusing, um, her being another open human like me for, uh, any kind of romantic interest. So, but I'm typically very cautious about these things and I'm trying to be less cautious in general in life. Um, cause you know, I've been a fairly cautious dude and I want to take some more risks. You know, let's get out there and all gas, no breaks it. Um, so... That's, uh, that's, I, you know, I've been, I just hit record, I've been talking about this girl for 10 minutes, so, getting my hopes way up, probably not a great idea, but, uh, that's, we're here, that's where we're at, maybe it'll go well, maybe it won't, that's, uh, it's exciting, there's a movie I like, it's, uh, there's a guy, his name's Don Hertzfeld, um, he wrote, or he wrote, he, he makes these, um, animated movies um they're, they're, a lot of them are like hand drawn and like manually done they're very well done he, there's one on youtube you can watch called rejected it's very funny very good watch it if you can um 
and then he wrote one called It's Such a Beautiful Day, which is not on YouTube, but it is a gut punch, and these it's just like the most crude animation, but it will make you, it will it will just kill you, it'll, it'll have you in stitches, and then it'll just like pop you right in your feelings. Anyway, he has um, a new, it's kind of like a series, it's called uh, World of Tomorrow, and how it came about was he would follow his niece, don't quote me on that, a young person who was like three, um, around with an audio recorder, and he just recorded her making all these sounds and noises, and then constructed a narrative around those sounds, and so what it kind of is, is um, Emily, uh, or Emily Prime, is the niece and she just kind of plays and makes noises and then he has um a character come called emily you know and it's like a number i think it's six um but there's like several of them and so it's like the sixth clone version because in the future people clone themselves and then time travel tourism becomes a thing so emily six comes back to visit emily prime to retrieve some memory or something and that's kind of the, the weird disjointed plot and Emily Six tells Emily Prime about, you know, this is what the future's like. But there's one scene that I like a lot that, um, that, that really, I'm trying to remember it, and I, I almost don't want to spoil it, because it's so good, and it's so, it just will hit you right in the feelings. Um, but, uh, it was, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, Emily Six and another clone. She's talking about like being a teenager, and there's another clone. Um, and uh, they they would swap bracelets, like identification tags. And um, she says that was the memory she goes back to retrieve, and she she does says like, you know, tell her that I was glad we were alive at the same time. And you're like, oh, that's a gut punch. And then right before that that's kind of the ending of that sequence and then she says um oh man i can't remember the line verbatim but the end of the line is i look forward to my new and unknowable memories and that encapsulates i watched that um in i think it was 2019 and i think that was what pushed me to like start feeling better after the trauma with my ex uh not this recent ex but the one before um and i was like because I, I watched it on new year's day and i was like okay we're gonna we're gonna do some things i don't know what they're gonna look like but we're gonna do them and uh yeah that so that sticks with me and i'm gonna watch that again because Don has uh, said on Twitter he's releasing the third part. This is a two-part series right now, but it's going to be a three-part series soon, uh, as soon as this next week. So we'll see if he releases that, but I'm going to watch um, all of those again soon. And I think you should watch them, World of Tomorrow by Don Hartsfeld. It's amazing and life-changing, or you'll think it's stupid and you won't get it, and that's okay, too. It's up to you. Dealer's choice. They're short. They're like... I want to say the total runtime of parts one and two all together is probably like 35 minutes. I think you can watch them on Vimeo. I think you might have to pay some money though, but it's uh, absolutely worth it. Anyway, I look forward to my new and unknowable memories. And uh, if uh, the risk pays off, who knows? Be pretty good. You know, might have a new lady friend um, who I think we hit off well um she kind of mentioned that she feels like she's a if you watch parks and rec she's she mentioned that she watched she feels like an april ludgate and i'm like i'm kind of an andy because i'm kind of a big dumb lovable idiot if you can't tell but i also have a little bit of ben in me because well my name is ben um so there's that but also because i'm kind of like a numbers nerd um and i have spreadsheets and stuff and i like making spreadsheets which is why i went and to school for business, but then I never went to like finance or anything, which maybe I should go into finance because I like numbers like a lot, even though I hated math, but like, it, it's, it's weird, it's because I, with my own personal things, I use numbers, I track, I data, get Apple Watch, get that data, and uh, okay, there's no breaks it, and I, you know, spreadsheets, but then if it, when it was like accounting class, and it was like, okay, well, figure out then I was just like I don't care 
think it would be really cool if me and that girl hit it off and um, became boyfriend and girlfriend and I could show her this video. That's the cool thing about these ramble videos and it's just kind of sort of become like a pseudo diary to some degree and uh, I think it'll be really interesting to look back on like 10 years from now and just like click on you know, random things be like, what the hell did I talk about? Because <laughs> I forget as soon as I hit, as soon as I hit the record button again to stop it, I forget like 90% of what I said. It just comes, it just, I have no filter, it just comes out. So, hopefully my gum hasn't been too bad for you. I'm gonna watch this back and I'm gonna hate the gum and I'll be like, why did you, why did you do the gum thing? <laughs> Gas up everybody, gas them up, King.
folks, cast them up, queens. Cast them up, aces. That was the word I used for non-binary people. Cast them up. That's all we're gonna do. So let's let's gas everybody up. Let's do it. Let's gas ourselves up. Let's get some stuff done. Let's uh, let's take 2020, the last quarter of 2020, and we're gonna we're gonna just take it, and just screaming into the street, and we're gonna say, hey, give me some good stuff. I deserve it. Cause you deserve it. Cause you're a good person. So thank you for watching. You're a good person for watching this far and just watching me ramble and chew gum, which I know freaks a lot of people out. So I appreciate you. I'll see you next time. Tomorrow. I'll cast no breaks. Videos every day. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>